it's your boy Bitch for Life back with some more as dust falls. We are continuing where we left off in the last episode as we go into chapter three. The story has already taken a lot of twists and turns. I do not know where it's going, but I'm super excited to find out. As always, let's brace yourself. Let's buckle up. It's probably gonna be a bumpy ride. Interesting that if they continue, we get to see the sheriff. So, yeah, let's get in here. All right, back at the hotel. You just feel like there's something in the air, like there's something. What was he talking about, huh? What goddamn black book? He was just messing with your mind, Dale. So they could get the shot off. Jesus Christ. I swear I never come so close to shit in myself. I know. It's close, but you gotta forget that. Tense. I need you Can't believe she's still awake. I'm not tired. I don't blame her. Even a six-year-old can't sleep through gunshots. You said it was fireworks. Oh. <laughs> uh it is. Granddad doing his Cherry best. bombs. Ten years working here under three different managers. <laughs> Worst thing ever happened before was a rattlesnake in the bathroom. Take a minute. Get your shit together. Everybody's getting definitely weary about all this. <laughs> Find my book yet. I can put no asshole. So I'm already looked. Listen, your wife's out of surgery. She's okay. But I need that book now. Hey. Uh oh. What are you doing over here? Hey, cut the guy a break. He just saved my life out there. He helped us one time. Doesn't mean he'll do it twice. Look. I ain't saying we should give up. But what are we supposed to do now, huh? No helicopter? That pig Romero don't care if we're dead or alive. Whew. I don't know anymore. First sense he's been talking this whole game. <laughs> Go ahead and get that, y'all don't name me. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am. This is a live operation. Uh-oh, who's this? Uh, Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's mom. Who's this? Oh. Their mom. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Huh. Stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, sheriff? Sheriff, better not make me regret this. <sighs> they got the mama going in there? Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Why are you, Why are you putting that cap on? I got this. Oh. You clearly do not. Hi, Ma. Hey, Mama. Hi, sweethearts. Paul? Sharon? I hope you're here to talk some sense into your boys. You two friends or something? Long story. So how did this whole thing become such a damn clusterfuck? Mm. Romero's how. He tries to break in, we ask for a helicopter, he lures us outside, takes a shot at Dale. I swear to God, I could kill that lousy crook. Got something to say? Nope. Come on now. 
Uh oh. How have my sons been treating you? No complaints. You kidding? They're out of control. I'm gonna say you kidding. Are you fucking serious? How have they been treating us? What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. Been trouble from the beginning. Always arguing. Family man, huh? I get that. Mm. You probably think my boys are monsters. But desperate days make for desperate men. They're scared. Just like you are. Just like I am. So tell you what. I'm trying to rationalize You help it. me take care of my family. I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? I just gotta show the little girl. Don't warn her. Warn her about the pager. Don't warn her. Ah, uh, this is like a pivotal moment. I don't want to really trust the sheriff because he's shown that he's threatening. So I, I'll take a leap, and I'm gonna warn her about the pager. Okay. Look, the sheriff. He. Uh... He gave me something. A two-way pager. He what? He wants that book he was talking about. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Just hold on now. Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him Mom, this Mom, Mom I gave rational. him my word. <sighs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? My family, the cops are crooked. I'm gonna say my family. Look, I don't care whose house you robbed. All I care about is my family. Then you and I have something in common. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Dale, Jay, don't you worry. I'll get you out of here. Mm. That's an extreme situation. I don't know about that being so easy. Jim? Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, it's nothing. I'll be fine. He's trying to hide who he is. That is, if your big gamble pays off. Wasn't it hot enough for you in the frying pan? Uh, I'm winging it here. Do the lesser of two evils. I had to pick a side. The sheriff, he nearly had me shot earlier for no reason except I was away. At least the bad guys need us alive. Oh, I'm with you. Just be careful. She's too sharp for her own good, that one. Daddy. Hey, pumpkin. Try to sleep. Daddy, you look scared. Do I? That's not how I feel. How do you feel? Mm, tired mostly, ready to act. Say, glad I have you. The opposite, actually. I feel safe. Because I'm with you. Okay. Then <laughs> I'll keep protecting you. Oh, my that's sweet. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. Wait, we're taking them with us? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Is that the book? Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book. About birds. Uh -oh. Some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I I thought there was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. 
Oh, Me? great. We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. With him? He tried to get me arrested. If he tries anything this time, do what you have to do. Lord. The intenseness of it all. One week earlier. So we get to see more of the family side of things. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof, or it won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. We replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Fine. Easy enough to saw. Easy enough to fuck up. <laughs> I don't. I won't. Trying to prove himself. Ooh. Hey, bro, what kind of timber you got there? Softwood, because he's a cut through. Ain't hardwood. So you saying you got soft wood? Yeah, I think. Hear that, Tyler? He can't get it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Saw that coming. Walk right into that one. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Prank him back, insult him. Uh, let's prank him back, right? I almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa! <laughs> Should've known better. I fucking taught him that. Hey! Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. Hand it back. Try it. Why not? <laughs> you ever get those weird floaty things when you stare at the sky? You mean like little dots and squiggly lines? Yeah, I see him. Oh, his eyes. Watching the birds sometimes. Oh, they dilated. Disturbing your fun. Pa. What? No hug for your old man. Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof then, seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. <laughs> it's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Stay silent. Take credit. I feel like staying silent is more of his personality. Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. <laughs> I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? Come on, Jay. 
You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Lord. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Boy, you about to put hands on? God's name are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. <laughs> Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? <sighs> Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Change the subject. Tell the truth. Uh, change the subject. You don't want to be a snitch. I uh, caught some cottontails. Thanks, son. Always thinking of us. You don't have to cover for your daddy. Uh, I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No, thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. That felt like the right thing to do, you know? Let's call it that. Uh oh. Who are you? Present some business acquaintances of your father's. Oh Lord, I made ah, money, huh? That is good. I can see this is a well-run home. Tell you're trespassing. This is private property. You need to go, sir. <laughs> Maybe you need a lesson in manners, young man. I'm here on a matter of urgency. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? Not for days. You just missed him. I'll say not for days. I haven't seen him all week. Please, don't insult my intelligence. Well, he's they sent to me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? Use the ashtray. If you gotta, just don't drop the ashes on the floor. Hmm. I was certain I had some matches. <laughs> Listen, son. I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for. If your pot doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. Pa's problem. Ain't nothing to do with me. It's his problem. Yes, but sins of the fathers, I'm afraid. Interesting. Swiss? The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It's... it ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. 
Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? Key watch. Give watch. We're gonna keep the watch because we don't know what this dude is, nor do we have any reason to trust nothing. him. So back off. Just like your father. Always playing the wrong game. Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Oh, we're not gonna do this to him, are we? Ooh. Forgot my damn watch. Hey! Oh. I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families do. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive. Whoa. I tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Mm. Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. So, war view of things? Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? For the love of God, Jay, I have a right to know what's going on in my own house. Pause in trouble, nothing. <sighs> Rattling the man. I hate to do it, but we gotta. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Ugh. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, Bear. Mm. How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always. If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? How did the mom know? Because it affects everybody. Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. Oh, there's a sniper. Look, about the thing with the cops earlier. Don't hold it against me, okay? It's fine. Just don't do it again. The shed's in the back. <laughs> Just don't yeah. do it again. Away from the road. Shoot. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Oh, closer. Why isn't he turning off the lights? You need to get out of there, I have to say, boy. Tough on that road. Huh? Sorry, I just saw a message. Gee, You're good thanks, now. <laughs> you okay? Couldn't be better. <sighs> hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. He said kind of all over. Uh, between the seats is always a good place to start. There you are. Oh wow, look at that. Is that what one play, one take. Huh, it's just numbers. Uh, 
Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, $8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? I think it's bribes. Hey. You all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> you're part of the problem. Can't you leave to say you're not messed up? You're not messed up, though. You seem like a good kid. How would you know? You're sensitive, you're smart, you know right from wrong. Ain't that smart. I'm going to jail after this. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Money, family, fear, life. I fear. I don't know. I guess I was scared of failing. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, mm. that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. I'll tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. So we got the black boy they once. You ever been like married? Parlay. Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me. Said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. Uh-oh. Hey, Boy, we got, got it. Sins. Well, look at you two, a regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses, what is all this? Legitimate business, stay silent. Say political bribes. Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts could could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them, taking them, and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, <laughs> it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not Feels safe. right. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. We all agree. Hmm. I hope she keeps on sleeping. Shouldn't be much longer now. How you doing? About Michelle. Worried, I guess. She'll be all right. She's at a hospital now. They'll know what to do. You know, I kept blaming her for everything that happened to me. For things she said after the accident, for encouraging mm. me to take that pet food job. Mm. But she was just trying to help me move on. You've had a rough year, Vince. I'm sure it was hard for her, too. I know what I want to do about those settlement papers she wanted me to sign. Once we get out of here. Oh? 
You're gonna sue the airline. You're gonna take the money. We're suing the airline. F it. I'm not gonna do it. I know where she was coming from, but I'm gonna hire a lawyer and sue those bastards for all they're worth. Really? Well, in the car earlier, I was just giving you a hard time. Huh? No, you were right. It doesn't even matter if I win. I'm just not gonna take it lying down. Huh. Then I'm proud of you, son. Mm -hmm. I guess that bus won't be here anymore. Stand up for yourself. Wait, Vince. In case we don't make it. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, look. My cancer. It's not as bad as I made it out. Mm -hmm. In fact, it, uh, it doesn't exist. He lied about having cancer? What? A year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed. And suddenly, I was alone in the world. My brother was long gone. I had nobody left except you. But after everything I'd done, the way I left you, I, I knew you wouldn't let me back in your life unless... You gotta believe me, Vince. It came from a good place. You lie. How's it good? I didn't think you cared. But didn't think you cared. You did all that? Just so I'd accept you in my life again? Would you have? Otherwise? Probably not. And what about now, son? Can you give me another chance? We've been for a lot of shit together right now. What he did was drastic, but I mean, he's here, he has a relationship with the granddaughter. You can't be disrupting that, you know, let her be the second chance. So we'll just say, okay, dad. Look, you're my dad. For better or for worse. And if you'd asked yesterday, I would have said no. But after tonight, I know I'm a lousy person. People can change, Dad. Just promise you'll never lie to me again. You have my word. All right. Yeah, hi. Is Jessica there? It's Dale. Dale Halt? No. The one they caught shoplifting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's me. Look, I, I seen you work in that liquor store sometimes, and well, there's that bar near there, you know, the one with the pool table and all? And I just was wondering if, um, you'd want to go there with me sometime. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, it's a date. That's sad, because it's like, nothing normal gonna be happening after this. There's the school bus. Yet I don't think All class right, is in session. On your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? They about to drive that thing in here? Oh shit. Woo. Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! God dang. One week earlier. <sighs> these transitions and these intense sequences. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> it's like mockingbirds. 
Dragonflies. Jay, get up. That's the dad. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Uh, what's wrong with the old man? Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. Understand why you told your mom about the dead, but you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. Don't regret to doing either, boy. Sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your mom, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. She don't need it. I need just the gambling. You're never here anyways. It's the gambling, man. It's not you. Even I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Turn off here. The hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. drinking a lot too. How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. I trust you. I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me. And I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. We just panicked. You murdered him. It's self-defense. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave them the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Hmm. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. <sighs> All right. 
I have to draw the line there, man. I ain't doing that. I don't know if I can do that, Pa. Ain't no use to him now. All the same, it still doesn't feel right. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Bury him. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your mall. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. This is fucked up. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, man. I never told anyone this, but when I was half your age, we had this young horse, beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Lord. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell the whiskey on his breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and... Oh, that's deep enough. All those years, I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. That's... You were... You were just a kid. You grab his arms, I'll take his feet. Let's get him into the hole. Lord. What's well, gonna be really alive? <laughs> All right. Let's get him covered before sunrise. the blood on that kid's hands like that helped the stranger rise from the grave look like you need it yeah we'll definitely drink after all that to he who falls last You take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. Mm. Look, what happened tonight? It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. 
But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. Jeez. You ain't bad. You're twisted. But you ain't bad. You ain't so bad as all that. You got your good sides too. Maybe once. Too much water gone under the bridge now. You saved a man's life tonight. And that makes you a better man than me. But it won't change things. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people, they ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Mmm, it feels like a goodbye, if any. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you're right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. Hang himself. You gotta cut him down. No, 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 don't die, don't die. <laughs> Shut up. Left me. You're still my pa. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. So life ain't about what you want. Mm. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? The next time you see me and my friends outside, you'll be digging your own graves. Lord. If you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now. Should have let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, you wanna hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe... there's another way. That's how this whole thing started. Truck. Joey! Jim! Daddy! 
Can't win. Uh oh, she about to make that thing go boom, ain't she? Dear God, please let this work. What are you doing? Improvising. Oh shit! Run, run, run! Ooh. You okay? I'm fine. Keep going. Oh, we're not safe yet. Aggie. I, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, that's not God. Oh, the smoke. The whole fucking place is on fire. Oh, God. I hope Paul got out. How do we get out? There's a window. We're gonna have to jump. It's too high. I'll get hurt. How about Grandpa goes first, okay? <sighs> See you down there, Squirt. <laughs> Grab my hands. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, Pumpkin. You ready? Please, don't make me. The flames are coming up the stairs. We need to go now. Go on, Joyce. We're right behind you. <laughs> oh, Lord. The structural foundation is compromised. Are you all right? <laughs> Climb down. I'll find another way. In the bathroom at the end of the hall. I'll see you down there. We have to run for it. Should we hold our breath? Good idea. I'll have to boost you up. I'll be right behind you, I promise. Will you fit? I'm not that big. <laughs> Ready? Up you go! Get on my back. Now hold on tight. Right, this does not look safe. Away at from all. the flames. Two zero eight four. We have multiple officers down. Abandoned the hilltop. We need urgent backup. We're headed down now. Over. That's a sniper. Money. What a freaking mess. I want to go back home to Sacramento. If we hadn't come, I know that this would have happened. Can tell we can't go back time. We still have our family. Maybe not. But mommy's going to be fine. And Grandpa's just outside. We'll all be together again. Really soon. You promise? I do. Come on, kiddo. <gasps> the 
dog. I forgot about that damn dog. Oh. That was the lowest setting. You don't want to feel it on the highest. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Negative, Coburn. I got it covered. Uh, Zoe, run! Where's Sharon? Where's the book? I don't know. What are you doing? I gave you every chance to do the right thing. I trusted you. And you chose them over me. They made me insane. It was a bad call. They made me. They said they made me. Wait, wait. They made me do it. I was going to give it back to you, I swear. I don't care about why or how. The Holt. <laughs> then nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than to ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people. Myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? Oh, I have no idea what's in that bitch. I swear, I didn't even look. Well, the thing is, I... I don't believe you. How about I take you up for questioning so we can be sure? <laughs> Lord! Oh. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hide in the closet, hide in the bathroom. The bathroom looks better because I feel like the closet is like literally you can just see through it. I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you didn't want to tell me about? True. Boy, keep the door down like Rambo. to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. <laughs> Fuck you, Sheriff. Uh-oh. Electrocute that asshole. Oh, they got the daughter. <laughs> Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello there. Where's my daddy? Wanna go for a ride, darling? Let her go. I don't think so. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. I helped you. I lied for you. I may have just killed a cop because of you. And you thank me by... by taking my little girl? Relax. It ain't personal. Of course it's personal. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. Atta boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Ah. Uh. It's your daughter, man. You gotta do all you gotta do. Ah. <sighs> 
Not until they let Zoe go. I told you, we can't do that. Please, just put it down. Stand your conviction, man. You are not taking her. I'm not letting it happen. Then shoot him, Jay. Do it. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. I'm really sorry about this. Shot him in the knee. Open that gate and get the truck started. Daddy! Zoe! Zoe! Deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. It's a daughter car. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now. Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. You don't get him. Stay quiet. But you don't get him. He wasn't dumb. He was trying to do the right thing. <laughs> I can stay quiet now. Hey! Stop all that. Stop it. I can't just stop. They're my feelings. <sighs> seconds of peace then instinct takes over got the reverse over that thing The truth is, 
There's still too much to forget. Not just the motel, but what happened afterward. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long-tongued liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. So... You gotta digest that. A lot happened. I just wanna know, is, is that the end? Or is this like a teaser? Is this like the beginning of something and then it, it's going to keep going? Because this is a lot, like nothing was resolved, I feel like. It's such open-endedness. But from what we played though, if that is the end of this game for right now, I'm hooked. I love the way that when I reacted, you see the immediate consequences. I feel like they make you really have to stand aground and pick what are you gonna do. Like that last sequence with Vince holding up the hole so that his daughter wouldn't be taken with him. I felt like even though this could end with me getting murdered, you have to show your daughter that I'm gonna fight for you to the end. You know? But wow, a lot happened. So you may run on a lot of questions, time, really. Obviously, on, it ends with um, time, Zoe grown up, sooner or and later, she hints that more stuff down. happened. So I, I hope that that means we're going to get more. Um, but yeah, I'm. It was a great experience as thus far. I definitely recommend you guys to go out there, play it. The choices of the story change based on different paths, decisions you make. I almost want to think about playing it again to see how it can turn up, but I feel like the ending I got is, is going to be like that main ending where you're just going to be left wanting more. And I kind of like the path that I took so far. But yeah, I am vested. I'm interested. I like this sort of game style. You know, as a big fan of the Walking Dead series with the Tall Tale, this kind of gives me that, but I feel like it's more of a immediate payoff, more satisfying, more of my sources really do lead to consequences. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think this is going to be the last one, but if they make more, or I don't know if they're going to do like a sequel album or episodes, yo, the channel will be on it. You can believe in that. Until next time, it's your boy Vish for Life. Peace.